Next tonight, if a young person comes from a really broken household, counselling can give them the attention they need to make them feel crime isn't the way. Those are the words of one teenager who says counselling provided by a Devon charity helped him overcome his mental health problems, finish college and get a job. But managers at Young Devon say uncertainty about funding for the service risks reducing the number of young people they can help. Our Home Affairs correspondent Ben Wolvin is here with more. Yes, some teenagers are referred to the Devon Youth Inquiry Service by their teacher, GP or social worker. Others ask for help themselves. The charity Young Devons provided over a thousand counselling sessions in the past year and managers say the number of young people coming to them for help with anxiety and depression is going through the roof. But the funding which is provided by the County Council and the NHS is currently only awarded a year at a time and that's what's creating the uncertainty about how many young people the service can help. It's called a cafe but the young people aren't here for food. Work's going well, social life's going good, driving lessons are going really well. How are you doing? Kian hasn't just got help from other people his age in this well-being cafe. He's also benefited from one-to-one -one counselling. Because before counselling, I was very unkind to my family and used to always take my anger out on them. But after counselling, it helped me realise that they're trying to help me and I was very kind and friendly to them. Megan was referred for counselling by her school. I didn't know how to cope with getting bullied, so I took it out on other people. The counselling like, sort of helped me understand that it's still not OK to bully someone else because you've been bullied. Both Kian and Megan say they only had to wait a few weeks for counselling. The current wait for one-to-one -one help is around six weeks, but waiting lists have been as long as six months. We need contracts that aren't 12 months. <laughs> we need to be able to be looking at things for three or four years at least. Um, and then we can really learn and set in those systems. And so many young people can't find the counselling. You know, they look, look really hard. And um, because services are quite short-lived, they've gone or they've, they weren't what they were offering before. It's not just the managers of the service who say short-term funding's a problem. The British Association of Social Workers tells us 12-month contracts simply don't work as it creates too much instability. The NHS and Devon County Council, which jointly commission the service, say they've increased its funding this year and put in measures to reduce waiting times. They also say they're considering introducing longer-term contracts at the start of the next financial year to, as they put it, ensure greater continuity. Thank you, Ben.